Hello everyone, hope you're all doing well. Don't forget, if you like the video, click on like and subscribe and talk about it on chat lines, wherever it is your social media activities and help us to grow and help more people. I'll talk to you soon. PRM38 says, Hi Mehran, I am male 18 from the US. I am currently talking to this girl uh, that I'm very attracted towards. However, I suffer from HOCD and my libido is very on and off. Do I keep talking to her? Yeah, of course. Why not? Because you know that this is a malfunction of the signaling system of the brain. So you're not going to deviate from your directive and what you know your preferences and values are to allow this narrative to constantly be there to rewire your brain towards something that you don't prefer. So you constantly ignore what is not in line with your values, the suggestion of the brain, and you constantly focus on what it is that you would like to select and you prefer, which is your natural inclination. Talk to the girl. But you don't have to push yourself that I'm talking to the girl to see how uh, stud muffin I am, to check and prove to myself that I am who I've always been and what my preferences are. No, talk to the girl without pressing yourself that I got to get a hard on. No, talk to the girl because you enjoy talking to her. No agenda. Hmm? No, it, you're not talking to her to prove, to prove anything to yourself. You're just talking because that's what you want to do. And let this do the rewiring rather than not talking to her and the brain's suggestion constantly be there to rewire you. Hmm? Because then it becomes more difficult to bring yourself back to your uh, correct uh, directive for you. PRM says, I feel dishonest and quality because of it. No, 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 no. Dishonest is what's interfering and intruding in your values. That's dishonest. The brain is being dishonest, not you. Understand this very clearly. The brain's suggestion is not the honest because you're thinking of the brain as a credible source. Hmm? But when you understand that the brain is not a credible source, is not the intellect, is not the you, it's added as an apparatus to you. Therefore, then you understand that the brain is dishonest, is not following the directive of the master. It's gone haywire. So you be the judge, you as a judge, will put the brain's function not as a credible source, and you focus on what you need to do to retrain the brain. The funny thing is that when a suggestion comes to your head, you treat that as honest. But when it's contradicting with your values, you don't treat your values to be the honest just because there is a suggestion. It's like if I'm walking in the street and somebody tells me, you're an asshole to me, or you're a thief. And now I take that person's suggestion as honest and me who thinks, oh, I'm a thief, I'm not a thief, I don't like to be a thief, I, but that suggestion makes me think, oh, I'm not honest if I say I'm not a thief. No, you are. The person who said it is not honest. Hmm? But you get bamboozled by paying attention with what the outside is extending to you, throwing at you, which your brain is also outside. In the video that I have made, that it says, <clears throat> it's proven to you, I have proven it, by the way of experiment done, done in a laboratory in quantum physics, that you're outside of the brain. You're not the brain. Beside the fact that Dr. Schwartz in his book of Brain Log has proven that you're not the brain, brain is not you. I've used a different method of proving to you, for you, to see 
that you're outside of the brain. Hmm? In quantum physics laboratory, they had a electron gun pointed at the wall and they shoot electrons. And what it creates the impression is a straight line. Hmm? So they put a they put a steel plate with a slut not slut slit, sorry. <laughs> slit in the in the in the this in this plate, steel plate, between the wall and the electron gun. And they shoot the electrons. On the wall, the image it would be a straight line. One slot or slit. I gotta get that straight. And then one line of the electrons on the wall behind the steel plate. Hmm? Now they they put another opening slit right beside this one on the same plate. Now we have two opening, two slits, and then they fire the electron guns. Suddenly they see, my goodness, there are many lines, not two straight lines, there are many lines, 20. They said, what the hell happened here? So because they couldn't understand what happened, because they were acting like overlapping waves now, instead of lines and electron guns being used. So what they said, the scientists said, we want to take a peek into the experiment of the harnessed and conformed laboratory. So in order to take a peek, we now should put an observer, an instrument, which this instrument measuring what's happening is not part of the experiment. It's just an observer. It has nothing to do with any connection with the apparatuses, the electric gun, the, the steel plate, the wall, none of that. It's just observing. So it's outside of the experiment, not part of the experiment. Once they place this measuring device, the observer, to peek into this experiment, to see why there are so many lines instead of just two lines, because there's only two slits on the steel plate, and they fired the electron gun, the electrons behaved as they would. Only two lines. No longer 20 lines or 10 lines. They figured, because there's an observer, and the observer is not part of the equipment, is outside, independent, separate, from this experiment, this apparatus, it was like the electrons had seen the principle in the room and they behaved. So when there is something observing an event which is not part of the event, as the equipments of the events are, the event behaves differently. Now I want you guys to do this, what I'm going to suggest to you. To see, when you put an observer to the production and the function of the brain, and you will see what happens. So what I want to ask you right now is to simply look into your brain, however you see your brain, however you imagine your brain, little rooms, compartments, neurons, however you imagine, under the rocks, little dark rooms, however you imagine the real estate of your brain is, I want you to look in all these nooks and crannies and the rooms, or however you imagine the real estate of your brain is, I want you to look and search for a thought being created. I want you to look everywhere in all the rooms of your brain, all the neurons, you follow them, all the nooks and crannies under any rock and any part that you could think that that's how your brain looks like. Look inside and look for a thought being born. Look for a thought, a new thought. Just look in that room, in that corner, wherever it is you're looking. Keep searching for it.
when you're looking constantly, you will find no thoughts. Blank. The ones who actually could not find a thought, put a one while you were searching actively, looking in every corner and nooks and crannies to see a brand new thought being born. Could you all put your results there? If you didn't see, didn't find any thoughts while you were looking for it, put a one. It is not about you creating a thought where you're looking for it. It's about seeing the brain's thought being created, looking for it, searching to see where a thought is being created while you're looking at every room or the real estate of your brain. That's what you're doing. And when you do that, you find no thoughts. Because why? Because what's looking for the thought is that instrument, the observer that was being used in the laboratory. Hmm? Because the observer is outside of the laboratory equipment and the experiment, the experiment changes. And because right now, when you did this, the brain stopped making thoughts, intrusive thoughts or other words. That means you, who has been searching for thoughts, is outside of the brain. Just like the measuring instrument was in the quantum physics laboratory, was outside of the experiments. So because you cannot find any thoughts, that means your brain behaves when you're supervising it, when you're looking at it. And because it behaves, that means you're outside of the brain, you're not part of the brain, and therefore you make changes as an observer, which tells you you're separate from the brain. Hmm? So this helps you. If you see the videos that I've made, the video that I've made in here, which I think uh, I'm going to see if I can find it here, you are the observer, not what your brain says you are. So that's the longest version, all four parts together. It is a four-part video, but I'm putting this long version here for you. You can go to it and either watch it separately or watch this whole thing. And that is where the experiment is discussed. So honestly, there's 17 people. You, you didn't hear what I've been saying? <laughs> I only got two ones here and it looks like nobody else is are, are you guys washing dishes and listening to what i'm saying or are you actually here for something for heaven's sake with all that passion i explain it and here they are <laughs> nobody listens that's great that's why we are not really known around the world <laughs> okay uh RC1 says, I'm currently getting a lot better with HOCD with your help. However, I still struggle with the real feelings from the illusion that comes when I'm not anxious. Any suggestions for helping ignore it? No, just ignore it. Simple. Just focus on other things. Focus on things that really matter to you. Understand that it's okay for the brain to make nonsense. We're okay when people say nonsense and we clearly see it and we don't have any... Uh, you know, uh, in any need for any proof. We just say, okay, that's different than my values, therefore he's full of shit. That's the end of it. And the same thing you got to do with the brain. That's different than my value and my preferences, my choices, therefore it's full of shit. That's the end of it. You don't need any proof or any agreement or any recognition of your brain about its malfunction to be sure that, oh yeah, it's malfunction and I am who I am and I can be who I am and what the brain says is not true. No, you don't need that affirmation or acknowledgement from the brain. Brain is actually an idiot. Just like you see how different people are out there, you have to understand the brain is also different. It's not you. Simple. Very simple. But you've been brainwashed all your life that the brain is your intellect, what it says, what it suggests, or might meet. No. It's a dumb shit. You're the intellect. Huh? Watch the videos that I have on this basis on the playlist called Intrusive OCD, HOCD Short Videos. 
Those are gold videos, <laughs> I must say. <laughs> All right. Nina says, thank you. You're quite welcome, dear. 